just wrapped up work for the day and tomorrow morning I get gum graft surgery where I won't be able to eat solid foods because I'm literally having my gums like reconstructed for two weeks. So I think I'm gonna treat myself a little bit tonight. I'm gonna do something fun. to go get gum graft surgery. I'm not gonna be able to eat solid food for at least two weeks. Um, actually, let's just get it emailed maybe. Yeah. It's probably easier. Aww. Aww, I'm crazy looking. <laughs> 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 Until, like, um, yeah. Yeah. I'm able to kind of peer and I realize what she's trying to signal to me. She had three acrylics. <laughs> <laughs> you can't see it. There's this virgin in the front row asking what that means. <laughs> been like a potato all day. You can see my handsome Squidward jaw that <laughs> is really swollen after my surgery. I haven't spoken again since the surgery, but it was actually very smooth. It took about an hour and a half, close to two hours, including the time for anesthesia. I was completely out. They had little prongs up my nostrils for laughing gas. And I was honestly scared that I wasn't going to be knocked out all the way because I was like trying to inhale as much of the stuff as I could. But I kept waking up and I was like, am I supposed to be out? Because I do not want to know what's going on. And they're like, don't worry, give it five minutes and you'll be gone. And they were correct. And it was like the most peaceful sleep ever. I woke up with all this stuff in my mouth and they were just taking things out. And uh, my friend Paula, roommate Paula, was kind enough to take me home. And I literally just slept until Noelle's comedy show, which I probably shouldn't have gone to, but I went to anyways. And it was really fun and I saw a bunch of my friends. This is what you asked for. This is what you asked for. And <laughs> is that what you wanted? This one. <laughs> that. Three servings per container. So in Jesus' name, and impact the part of the world that they live with.
You guys bike here? Yeah. Oh. friends still can't really eat solid foods i think i was hoping to be able to eat more than i can by now but it's fine i've been mean, living off of smoothies and soups if you want to have something really nasty if you're curious about gum graft surgery taking from the roof of your mouth i had these plaster like dressings that were on the roof of my mouth to protect the stitches as it healed but they eventually fall off because it's supposed to heal kind of in the open air if you will, but mine fell off like a, about a week after the surgery. But that just means that right now, the roof of my mouth is like covered in stitches and I can feel it and it's still bleeding, which is kind of nasty. That's not fun. I've really been taking it super easy this week because it kind of hurts to talk still. I can feel at the end of the day, if I've talked too much, my whole front of my face and my mouth was like throbbing a little bit, but Today is a social day. I made plans to go to Mom Market, which is like this Asian street market of small vendors. Ah, there she is! And it's Josh. Hello, thank you for getting me. Hello. Hello. Need IDs? Yeah. Yes. What is this building? Yeah, you know, when will my husband return from war? <laughs> There's vendors all around. It goes all the way down. I like the one that's like in fetal position over there. It can't anymore. The poop scent. Just like peaches. Just like peaches. It really looks like bread. It's so crazy. It's just, look at it. <laughs> just do <laughs> me. Having a little photo session. Is, this is what Josh should get. Is that Spider Man? Low key. Whoa. <laughs> Ooh, are these they're super reflective? They like what you have now, but like a little bit. Yeah. It's like a little bit. Yeah. Margellas. I don't know what it is. I'm having one of those days where you feel like you're bad at everything and everything you do is wrong. Whether it's like the videos I've made or the podcast or whatever. That all being said though, the good news is, is I know that, that is delusional behavior. And that if I think that everything I've done is wrong, everything needs to be scrapped, and that I'm bad at everything, 
that's probably a lie. <laughs> I think a big part of it might be that with having gotten the surgery and not socializing as much, spending a lot more time alone and on social media because I'm not with people, I know that my screen time is probably just shot up and it's probably contributed to a lot of feelings of inadequacy and feeling like I'm not doing enough and feeling like I'm not working hard enough because I'm letting myself rest because I just got surgery. But I think it's really important for me to recognize and to know that I do need to give myself a break every now and then. And like literally on Saturday, I overexerted myself and blood was just like gushing from my mouth for like an hour. So it's very obvious that my body is trying to tell me the rest. But when you feel like you see a ton of people excelling in something that you want to excel in, and you're resting, it feels just like you're wasting your time. So, I think I spend a little more time with God this fun morning. I'm here alone on one of our stages today. Tomorrow is the first shoot that I am producing alone. So I'm setting the stage with the lights and everything by myself today for the first time, which is a little scary. Okay, I am done having a bad day. We are turning things around. I am here at CGV Cinemas in K-Town for a little bit of a screening. I've never been invited by Netflix Gold or Gold House before to an event, and there are two organizations that I love that prioritize highlighting Asians in entertainment. So I'm actually at a screening, an advanced screening for Exo Kitty, the next spin-off or installment of the tall of the to all the boys I love before franchise, which I loved, love a good Asian female-led rom-com. So I invite my friend Jana and we're here and uh, I'm excited to see the series. Oh, oh, thanks for coming with me. Yeah. So cute. Oh, sorry for shining that in your face. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Looks like young love. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Joy, you're so 